parents will go to great lengths to reconnect estranged relationships with their children. But is catfishing your son too far? I Love My Dad is a comedy that explores the depths in which parents will go, and it won the top prize at South by Southwest this past year. And Pat Oswalt is here to discuss the film and his role as the catfishing father who eventually steals his son's heart through a fake Facebook account. Welcome to the show. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for having me. <laughs> I love it. I mean, this is a really unique premise for a film. Uh, to use a word that I know you love, it's slightly absurd, uh, maybe even cringy, yes. yet extremely well-received. So I know you say in your stand-up that audiences are up to the task. They're ready for a joke, right? Did you have a similar experience with this film? Yeah, I, I really felt like if it, the, the script itself was so good that all we had to yeah. do was really, really commit to the presence without winking at the camera. The more straighter we played it, the funnier it was. Like this guy that I'm playing, unfortunately thinks that what he's doing is the absolute best course of action and that he's the hero of this <laughs> horrific thing that he's doing. I, I think all of us have been guilty about that in a sometime in our lives. I love it. Let's take a listen to a clip from the movie. Ooh. Took some steps in setting healthy boundaries and blocked my dad online. He's never really been there for me when I needed him, and I'm done with that. Did you delete your profile? It's kind of the main way I was uh, staying in touch with you. My ex blocked me when I just started a different age, had a different name. I met someone online. She's like smart, funny. This girl's the love of my life. Keep your expectations low. She could be like mean or, or a scammer or, I mean, or your dad. <laughs> 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 so did you ever find yourself a little uncomfortable while filming some real awkward parenting moments? A little? Oh my God. There are scenes that when I was when I was filming them, I was uncomfortable. And then what was even weirder was when we showed it at South by Southwest, at that point I'd seen the movie uh -huh. uh, and I knew how uncomfortable the scenes were, but then watching it with an audience, people around you, and people are just like watching it through their hand. Like I there were there's two there's two scenes especially where I wanted to bolt out of the movie. You'll know the ones I'm talking about when you see them. Uh yeah, it was pretty incredible. That's good. So so what was it like to be this catfishing dad? I mean, you're a father yourself. Did you find yourself relating in any way? I, I certainly didn't sympathize. I can't understand the, 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 the parental um, motivation to want to avoid your kids when they're young, which is what this character sure. did. And now he's realizing way after the fact. So, you know, playing that realization felt really real. But the actual not wanting to be around your kids just felt very alien to me and still does. Yeah, I can agree with that. This film, yeah, though, it does a really good... Yeah, so this film does a great job kind of immersing us in each character's perspective, even though a lot of the interactions yeah. are happening virtually. So you're not just seeing, like, yes. text bubbles on the screen. So tell us about that. <laughs> yeah, they... Um, James uh, thought of a great device where the, the girl that I make up to catfish my son with, who's played by Claudia Saluski, who's an amazing actress, and she just actually appears as herself to then interact with him to do the lines that I'm writing. And then yeah. we see her playing the actual Becca later in the film. So it's a really cool device to bring you to the immediacy of what's happening emotionally. I agree. I agree. And by the way, all based on a true story, the actual experience of the writer, director, and your co-star, James Morosini. Did you know that right away? And I have to know, I mean, did you ever meet his dad? Uh, his dad came to a screening in South by Southwest. I wasn't there for that screening, but we did all Zoom together for an interview with the New York Times. So I met him over Zoom. I've yet to meet him face to face. But yes, when I read on the title page, based on a true story, I thought James was doing the like a Coen Brothers style joke. And then uh -huh. as we met and started talking about it, he goes, we were going through a bad time and I blocked him and he, and I was like, oh my God. Well, then that made me want to make the movie even more. You know, like, sure. oh, I really got to do it. Yeah, some really experience to draw from. Uh, yes. So, look, you wear a lot of hats, but you're a comedian first. And you <laughs> have to know, okay, that I have loved your stand-up for years. And I want you to know oh. that as often as I can, I accuse people of wasting cake and paper. Well, oh, my God. Thank <laughs> you. That's. I really hope that catches on. There don't need to be that many birthdays. Thank you. Oh, my goodness. You just made me yeah. so happy. 
<laughs> You're very, very welcome. And you have a whole new hour of stand-up coming to Netflix next month. So what can we... Yes. What can I look forward to? And where are you drawing your inspiration from? <laughs> I mean, look around you. Look at the world we're stuck in right now. My yeah. special comes out next month on Netflix, September 20th. Uh, basically, it is Patton Oswalt reacting to the year 2022, which that's all you need to know. It is basically yeah. we are being faced with such an avalanche of absurdity mm -hmm. that in a way that the special, I mean, it's funny and goofy, but it's basically me trying to keep my sanity. Oh, I hear you, and I need that in my life. Patton Oswalt, thank you thank so you. much for being on the show. Thanks for having me. I appreciate it. And you can watch I Love My Dad in theaters starting tomorrow and streaming next week. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.